So I want to discuss with you the benefits of backwards treadmill walking or running. This is also called retro running and reverse treadmill running or walking. First off, for those of us who are 50 plus years old, a lot of us have been walking or running in that forward plane of motion, that sagittal plane for a long time. And we have neglected certain muscles that uh, are under recruited in those movement patterns. Also, a lot of us have running backgrounds, just like myself. I'm a, I was a chronic marathon runner and just from so many aches and pains, I had to stop running. But throughout the week, as part of my interval workout, I will hop on my treadmill and I will run backwards for intervals. Studies point out that running, walking, jogging backwards burns up to, if not more, 30% more calories than you would walking or running forward. Also, so many studies are pointing out that for those of you who have tight hamstrings and tight calves, walking, running, jogging backwards has a phenomenal uh, benefit with helping you restore flexibility in your hamstrings and calves. For those of you who have knee pain, a lot of studies are pointing out how backwards walking or treadmill running strengthens the quadriceps in a certain way that can help you alleviate some common knee symptoms. So really quick, let me show you how I would coach someone to start running uh, jogging or walking on the treadmill. First off, for newbies on this, I always recommend, for anybody actually, always recommend putting the incline on 1%. No matter if you're running forward or running backwards on the treadmill, that 1% incline on treadmills is going to give you a more accurate simulation of what it's like running or walking outside. So always have the treadmill belt or the incline at 1%. Now, a lot of my clients who first started doing this, I would put the speed at 2.5 miles an hour. You're stepping on the side part of your treadmill, these side rails. Now you're gonna hop on without letting go of these handles. And you wanna let your body figure out this movement pattern first. So I'm basically gonna walk backwards, holding the handles, and I'm gonna let go. And I'm at 2.5 miles an hour, which is not a fast speed. However, if you're new at this, you're quickly gonna realize, wow, this is a pretty vigorous movement pattern. But as any running coach would tell you, your feet always follow your hands. Bend your elbows at, right, at, a, at a right angle. Push your elbows back, it's gonna help your movement pattern. And you would do this about 30 seconds on, grab your handles, step on the side rails and rest for maybe a minute and repeat that for maybe five sets. Maybe the next workout of the next week, increase your speed to three miles an hour. But let me show you where a lot of my clients are now with this, including myself. I'm going to put this on uh, six miles an hour. And I want to give you an example of what my interval workouts for myself look like sometimes. I often will do reverse treadmill running for 30 seconds on and a minute or 90 seconds off. With that said, I'm at six miles an hour. I'm gonna put my feet on the belt. I'm gonna let go. Now notice my running posture. Really pushing my elbows back, pulling my bottom rib cage down. And typically I would have my iPad over here or some kind of timer it would show me a 30 seconds, but, or you can count in your head, but you hop up on the side rails. And what I often do as part of my rest break, I will do some static stretching or I will foam roll muscles that feel tight for about a minute to 90 seconds. After that, I'll hop back on the treadmill and I'll do what we call interval repeats. There was one, I would do maybe five more. So with that said, 
there's a lot of studies too that indicate backwards treadmill or walking tends to promote better posture too. If you notice me in my interval, I had an upright posture, which is not that common with running forward. And I've been so outspoken about the benefits we get as we get older from just moving our bodies backwards. We're starting to recruit muscles that have been ignored for a long time from walking forward or running forward. So again, if you're looking for something to spice up your current cardiovascular routine, if you're looking for a different way to do intervals and you have access to a treadmill, get out of your comfort zone and try some backwards treadmill walking, jogging, or running. I'm surprised at how many of my clients love it. It was awkward for them at first. It's a new movement pattern. It promotes balance and agility. And like I pointed out earlier, it's going to give you a, up to more, up to 30% more of a caloric burn than you would get from running or walking forward. And for me personally, I had notoriously tight hamstrings. It's really helped me restore flexibility in my hamstrings. I've used it for knee rehab for many of my clients and they would tell you it's really helped them uh, minimize some of their knee pain. So there you have it. Backwards treadmill running, walking, give it a shot. If you have any questions, reach out to me. Thanks.